Look, the Voice of Silence, I love them because they're just creepy. I mean, first time I saw it, I think it's rarely this happens where I just see a concept, I'm like, oh my God, we have to do that, we have to do that. He was spec pretty early, and so the concept went in pretty early, and Ken fell in love with the concept instantly. Instantly, we all did. We all thought it was like the coolest thing we'd ever seen. I mean, anytime you completely obscure something's face, there's a creepiness that falls naturally out of wondering what's going on in there. You know, is it this hideously deformed child? Is there a head at all? You can only assume that it's horrible to be inside that mask, and I, yeah, I think that's where a lot of his, his scare value comes from. So, you know, the way they work is that they're, they're blind, they can't see you, but they can hear you, and you know, the levels that you see them in you have to make a decision on whether you are going to try to sneak around them or engage them directly. But if you anger them, they can call in back up. Their purpose in the world is that they're sort of, I mean, think of the cameras from Bioshock 1, but think of them walking around and moving and looking for you. And he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be scary in the game and somebody the players are gonna love to meet but also hate to meet. <laughs>